Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to the Premier League table prediction. I do this every year, the reason it's up early this year and it, you will send me say it if you follow me on social media is the fact I've got a lot of content coming up over the next week. So this is the only real time that how you're going to get to see it and it gives you a bit more time to come and see it as well. But anyway guys, I'm going to get this video on the way so guys you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the f bottom three we're going to start off with and the bottom three I've gone with Brentford, Burnley and Newcastle and you can all see it on the screen now. Um, but Brentford's first ever season in the Premier League, it is possible for them to stay up. I ain't going to underestimate uh, Brentford under whatsoever circumstances. I had to put someone down there and to me Brentford just slightly might have been slightly out of place um, if I'm being honest with you. But who knows, Brentford I have put bottom. Sorry Brentford fans, I hope you enjoy your first season in the Premier League. I certainly did when it was Brighton. 19th point Burnley. Now Burnley did have a bit of a dodgy end. Uh, if you remember rightly, to the last season. Burnley, to me, are one of them teams that can perform, but do, you know, under really perform, under, you know, really do, basically don't play good football from time to time, if that makes sense, you know, really underperform. I did have the right word then as well. Um, so I put Burnley in 19, no other reason except I, a lot of us have really got on last season. In 18 for Newcastle, yes, I mean, Newcastle just survived the drop from last season. Newcastle, to me, again, this has been one of the quieter windows as well. You know, this transfer window that we're currently in, we do look at it and go, oh, this is a exciting window. But this window really hasn't. And I think a lot of it has got to do with the lockdown that the UK just came out of. Well, I say the UK, England have, I think, Scotland... I've still got restrictions, I'm not sure about Wales or Northern, Northern Republic of Ireland. But, you know, that's why I put Newcastle on 18. I really can't see them doing anything much within, you know, the next, within this season. I reckon they'll go down in 18th. Now we go up to 17th to 11th. Now, as you can tell already, that the colour is basically all the way up to the top four. Now, 17th, I went with Norwich. Norwich, yet again... Second time in the Premier League within three years. Now can Norwich actually survive? I think they will. I think it'll be a, good, be a tough season for Norwich. But I think they will survive this uh, current Premier League season. I do think they're worse teams than Norwich. Which obviously you can tell by my predictions. Now Norwich have really got to step it up a bit. If they're going to survive though. That's the one thing I will admit. But I do think they will step up. And I think they'll finish in 17th. 16th, I went with Watford. Now, to me, Watford are one of these teams that, you know, I think should survive and will survive. I really do hope so. I've been there a few times within the last four or five years. It's a nice ground. It's an old-fashioned ground, a ground that you can't actually do a whole lap around. If you know what, what I mean by that, then you know... But if you don't, basically, you can't walk all the way around the stadium. But I think Watford do need to survive, and I think they will. And that's why I put them in 16th place. But, you know, it's going to be a very hard season for the promotion through, which are Watford, Norwich and Brentford. In 15th, I went with Crystal Palace. Now, to me, Crystal Palace, and I can see you lot saying, oh, I've only put them that low because, obviously, Brighton's rivals and all that. Well, that's not true. I'm thinking of Palace... Now, with, without Roy Hutchinson, without Gary Cahill, without all these top players, I think they're going to have a real bad season. Don't shoot me down, Palace fans, but I think they will. It's going to be an interesting game which way it goes, though, between now and in May, and, you know, how my predictions are doing, and we will come back and revisit this at the end of the season. But I think Palace will have a bad season. Which will happen in 15th? In 14th, I went with Southampton. Now, Southampton, to me, did have a sort of iffy season, if I remember rightly. They did have a good spell, bad spell, good. I think they're going to be another tough team, uh, a tough season for 
within the Premier League season. Which will put him in 14th. That's the only real reason. In 13th, I went with Wolverhampton Wanderers. Wolverhampton Wanderers, to me... Now, I did have that really bad season last season, if you remember. I know a few Wolves fans be out there going, no, we can fish higher than that. You might do. You might actually, you know, do pretty well. But I've got to go on last season's expertise. And as I said, as far as income, incomings for all clubs, there have not been a lot. So that's why I put Wolverhampton down in 13th. I could be wrong about that one. Wolverhampton will be a team to watch this season. May even get to European places again, but we're going to have to wait and see. But I still reckon they finish, you know, down down in that sort of area anyway. In 12th, I went with Aston Villa. Aston Villa had a good, great season last season. Are we going to redo it? I don't think so. I do think that Villa will struggle um, from time to time, especially if they lose Jack Greenish. The latest I've heard on Jack Greenish that Aston Villa have set a hundred million for Jack Greenish. If that does happen, Oxygen struggling a lot, lot more. Um, in the 11th place, I went with Arsenal. Arsenal, obviously, the new club that Ben White played for, Bright, uh, ex Brighton player now. But Arsenal still really have a strength in where they need to strengthen. This season, this transfer window, I'm going to remember it for load of different reasons but buying top players don't look like it's going to be one of them except from Jaden Sancho to Man United but yeah also I reckon they're in for another disappointing season which will put them in 11th now 10 to 5th or 10 to 5 in 10th I'm in Brighton now I, I can see a lot of you saying you know Brighton won't finish that high Brighton will do this Brighton do don't forget, you do not have to agree with my predictions. This is just my opinion on my own league table. Please feel free to put this down in the comments below. But I put Brighton in 10th. Now, the only reason I put Brighton in 10th is because last season, Brighton did drop 26 points for winning position. Brighton finished on 41 points, if I remember. If you think about them 26, it should have been around about 67, 66, something like that. That is a top 10 finish. I've probably put a bit too much expectation on Brighton. But I've put them in there. And hopefully that'll be a great season for Brighton. And the Brighton fans including me. In ninth, I went with Leagues United. Now Leagues did have a sort of a iffy ending if I remember. Can they do it this time around? I think they will. I think Leagues will do quite well. And I think your Leagues fans will be happy with the ninth place. Considering last season I put them in the relegation zone. In 8th, I went with Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham Hotspur, to me, are yet going to have another disappointing season. I do think they will finish outside the top four. I think Spurs will be lucky to even get into the top ten. But, you know, as I said, we're going to have to wait and see. But Spurs in 8th, I can't see them having a good season, if I'm being honest. In 7th, I went with Aston. Uh, in, yeah, seventh I went with Everton. Sorry, no, he said Aston Villa. Now Everton to me, new manager, got great signing. Andros Townsend. I know some Brighton fans will probably shoot me down for that because he's, he's an ex Palace player, but I still play. I really do rate. Um, Theo Wilcott. I don't think that Everton fans would be too. I'm happy for me to put them in 7th, but as I said, if you are, put your comments in the comment section below. And if you really want to, put your Premier League table prediction down in the comments below as well. In 6th, I went with West Ham. West Ham did have a great season last season. Now, to me, will West Ham have another great season like that? Or will they have a really tough season? I think they'll have another excellent season. Especially if they sign the likes of Jesse Lingard and um, players alike. West Ham was so good last season. Fair play to David Moyes and the West Ham team for the plan the way they did. But yeah, sixth place. I don't think West Ham fans ain't going to mind a finish like that again this season. But it's going to be another interesting team to watch this season, as far as I'm thinking. In fifth, I went with Liverpool. Now, Liverpool did have a bad season last season. I think they finished third overall 
I just think, you know, maybe it's time. Maybe Liverpool slipped out the top four. Could possibly happen, may not happen, but I think it will. So now we're going to go from fourth to second. Now fourth, I've gone with Leicester. Leicester, to me, missed out on top four twice in two years. Deserved more, if you know, if I'm being honest. Um, but should finish in the top four. I hope they do. Leicester, I put them in fourth for that particular reason. I think they can do it as well. In third, I went with Chelsea. Now Chelsea, to me, are going to be up there with the title contenders. They really are going to, you know, look sh strong, look sharp, look all this. To me, Chelsea are the real deal this season. I think maybe one out of the five clubs possibly pushing for the title this season. In second, and obviously you can tell already who I put top, but I've talked to him and talk about them in a minute. If you haven't, then uh, just around the corner. In second, I've got Man United. Man United to me look like they're going to be the real deal this season. The signing of San uh, Sancho's, the signing of, you know, they've got so many good quality players this season. Definitely need to step up this season. You know, Man United, will it happen? As I said, we'll have to wait and see. Now in first place, I've got Manchester City. Manchester City to retain their title, I think they won it last season. But you never know which way this table's going to end up. But I think Man City will win the title yet again for the 2021-22 20, Premier League season. But anyway, guys, my Premier League predictions will probably be up uh, a week Thursday. And you'll find out why due to the upload schedule I've got coming to this channel. But anyway, guys, until then, you know what to do. Give us a like, big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Turn the notification bell on so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.